Hi guys, Yuri here again. Welcome to IB Plays Music. Today I'm gonna show you what a capo is, or a capo daster, and why we use it, uh, and how we use it on our guitar. Now, I gotta say first that there are many multiple kinds of capos, but they all do the same thing. I have a lot of different ones, for example, right here. I have five different ones, I believe. Uh, but that's because certain guitars have different aspects to them. For example, some guitars have small arms. Other guitars, like classical guitars, have wider arms. Some arms are not entirely flat, others are. So they need different kinds of uh, capos for those specific guitars. Let's say. So that's why I have different ones for different guitars that I own as well. But what do capos do? Simply said, you have the bridge right here at the head of your guitar. It's actually moving that bridge on the arm. So it raises the pitch of your strings because our bridge is not physically movable. So let's say I want to raise the pitch of my strings by three half notes, which is three frets. So I'm gonna put it on the third fret, which is one, two, three. Where do I put the capo? Just before the frets, where I would push my fingers down actually, right? So I put it just before the third fret and put it as parallel as possible, uh, guys, so you have the most optimal sound. If you put it diagonally, it will not be that clean. So, and then squeeze it down, no matter which way you have to with that specific capo. If you have put that in place, then you can play the same thing as before, but you can actually count this as the bridge of your guitar and then count like first fret, second fret, third fret and so on and so forth. That's how we use a capo and you can put it as high or as low as you as you want to. But what is it used for? Now most of the times it's used to transpose songs. So if there's a song you want to play but it is too low for example um, or it is too high you can actually transpose it by putting a capo on your arm if it's too low it's easy to just raise the pitch until it's fitting for your voice for example if you want to sing with it if it's too high you can of course not lower the pitch by putting a capo on it uh, but then you can work in the octave then you can start up on the 12th fret and then move your way back for the amount of frets that is, that's needed or which is comfortable for your voice to sing at. Then the second thing and that's also a lot of the times used is just because you have a lot of songs that are originally played with a capo so if you want to play those songs exactly like the original then you will have to use a capo. Now the downside of using a capo a lot and I use it quite a lot for different songs um, is that when you're somewhere where there's a guitar available for you to play with uh, and people say like come on play something if you don't have a capo your options are limited of course because you're used to playing with a capo that often so it's not bad to be able to uh, play without a capo uh, either but I mean it's a handy tool either way right so that's basically what a capo does. If you have other questions about using a capo, then definitely let me know in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something again today, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the video. Also, don't forget to check out my other tutorials. I have reaction videos and music videos for you guys to check out. So thank you very much and see you guys next time. Bye. Uh, some guitar for where do I put the frets? Oh, where do I where I where I would put my finger actually and put it as part. Of, but you can actually count this as your first as your big. But you can actually count this as your as. So if you want to play those songs exactly, so if you want to play that song in its exact 